this is uh, a short video on giving you some help with identifying sedimentary rock samples in the exercise. The first part here is uh, the trital sedimentary rocks. If you remember from reading uh, the, the PowerPoint lecture, the trital sedimentary rocks are first identified by particle size. And when we look at samples, we try to find the largest particle size, not necessarily the most abundant particle size. This sample here, I, I tried to scale it so that it looks like a hand sample. And when we look at this, what's the largest particle size we see? If we look at the flow chart, the observation, are the grains easily visible? And we can definitely see some very large grain sizes here. So if the grains are easily visible, that indicates that we have gravel sized particles. So the next thing we do, if we have gravel sized particles, is we look at the shape of the gravel particles. And when we look at them, we can see that they are quite pointed. They come off to a square almost 90 degrees. There is hardly any roundness in these gravel particles. So the shape of this gravel particle is angular. And if we follow our flow chart, we see that if we have angular gravel sized particles, we have breccia. If we go to the chemical sedimentary rocks, we need some hints. In, in a online environment, unfortunately, we don't have materials to test these samples with. So we have hints on some of the chemical sedimentary rocks. In this particular sample down here, we have this wonderful hint that says it reacts in hydrochloric acid. If it reacts in hydrochloric acid, then the composition of this rock is calcite. And when you have calcite as the main mineral composition, we are dealing with some type of limestone. There are several types of limestone here in the flow chart. Now we have to look at the texture. We can see that this texture is by no means smooth. It's not messy. There's no banding that you see here. There are no small spheres. But what we do see is a coarseness to the texture. And if we look more closely, we will see that we have broken shell fragments. If you have broken shell fragments that are cemented together, this is a type of limestone called coquina. If you go down to Carolina Beach, you will see some exposures of coquina. There are other uh, hints that can be used, and they will be provided when you are identifying the, the part two of the exercise, where you start to identify some sedimentary rock sample. I hope this helps.